is uh, Patrick Wilson. I'm a data analyst at Spatial Networks. Um, I studied uh, geography and GIS at the Florida State University. Um, and that didn't cover too much cartographic instruction, so a goal of mine is to uh, learn some cartography. Uh, today I'm going to cover Maps 101. Um, I love every kind of map. And uh, I even have uh, a map laminated in my coffee table uh, at home. So uh, today is cartography and design. People have been using maps since the beginning of man, uh, from depicting herds of animals on cave walls uh, to navigating across the oceans. Um, and more and more people are using them every day, such as uh, a bus route, as you see here. There's three parts to a map. Um, they are extremely powerful. To, their maps are extremely powerful tools, and they provide us with the means of melding three fundam fundamentally parts that go into map creation: space, time, and a phenomena. And for that, with those three elements, the map is born. Maps are a universal medium for communication, easily understood and appreciated by most, regardless of language and culture. It is our human nature to attempt to define the reality that we live in and quantify the environment which we also exist. If geography is a science and cartography is an art, why not take a scientific approach to the cartographic design? Most of us have already heard about mapping densities, uh, such as heat maps, but if we can visualize the stimuli, visualize mental stimuli in response to very, various cartographic uh, instances. So, here you see a, uh, a web page and a visual tracking analysis of, uh, of the web page and how the user is experiencing this instance. And basically, my goal is to do the same with the map. This map is a, a, a midnight Berlin map of, um, in Berlin, Germany, uh, by Stamen Design. Stamen is a company in San Francisco. And I overlaid a transparent PNG of just a, uh, a heat map type of image. Well, what if we could use uh, this to, to visualize um, where, you know, where the eye is moving? So cartography and, and map design should pay close attention to psychology and physiology in relation to how our perception and to our perception and cognitive environment. It would broaden our scope on why and how will give us the ability to produce functional maps. <coughs> Mobile maps. Almost everyone has them. Everyone has a smartphone or tablet these days, and uh, just about every every device is prepackaged with a map application, and usually it's a, a Google map. Um, it amazes me that in just seven years, the general concept of the map is uh, so strongly tied to just this one type of map. And cartographers today are expected to be able to create effective maps at the outset of our careers due to society's growing comfort with the maps at your fingertips. And as a result, uh, society has a lack of understanding of the different kind of uh, design schemas. So cartography is not Google Maps. It is only a base map with stuff on top and uh, mostly just points and directions. Um, layers and Layers of points and pictures are almost always misused. They're also known as mashups, uh, pulled from different APIs. So design decisions weigh heavy, all, weigh, weigh heavy on the map's ability to portray the message. Uh, Andy Woodruff is a, uh, is a talented web cartographer in Boston, Massachusetts. He works with uh, Axis Maps. Um, he's inspired me to, to learn as much as I can about uh, cartographic design. There's this duality in map design also that exists. It is more or less juggling creative new ideas and traditional mapping standards. Success of the two depends on being able to, being open to innovation. I designed this map using Tomo by Mapbox. Um, it, it basically presents us with the ability to establish assumptions and uh, analyze the phenomena without, you know, without knowing the data content. We can already make an inference. And so these are IED attacks uh, in Afghanistan from 2004 to 2009. Uh, I got the map, the the data from. Uh, Afghanistan war logs uh, from the Guardian is part of a WikiLeaks. Um, basically, Tom Mill is a, is a by Mapbox is a damp, dynamic cartographic tool that is gaining rapid popularity in this community. Uh, it allows for the design, development, and deployment of fast, beautiful maps. Um, 
And as you can see here, yeah, there it is. So, what about <coughs> what about paper maps? Uh, the fundamental aspect of uh, the fundamental aspect of education, and uh, only a quarter of the world is connected to the internet. So we can't forget about the other 75 percent. And uh, oh yeah, we can't forget about the apocalypse either. So you better you better pack enough batteries because uh, your digital maps are going to require. So so thank you.